Hello, this is Gong Dian Ni. Today, I will explain about booster cylinders, one of the types of pneumatic hydraulic converters. Let's take a look at what a booster cylinder is and how it works using the animation. What is a pneumatic hydraulic converter? Simply put, it is a device that converts pneumatic into hydraulic pressure to boost the pressure. As you can see from the picture, pneumatic pressure produces less force than hydraulic pressure. When you use this pneumatic hydraulic converter here, you can increase the pressure from at least 8 times up to 36 times by converting pneumatic pressure to hydraulic pressure. Accordingly, even though you do not use a hydraulic system such as a power pack, you can operate the hydraulic cylinder sufficiently with pneumatic pressure. The pneumatic hydraulic converters are largely classified into three. Direct pressure type, pre-pressure type, and direct mount pressure type. Today, I will talk about direct pressure type and pre-pressure type ones. First of all, taking a quick look at the structural drawing of the pressure type product. The converter lies horizontally, and the converter and cylinder are integrated. When you inject oil here, the fluid is filled in the high-pressure tube of the converter. In case of the pre-pressure type 1, the converter stands vertically and it must be mounted by separately purchasing it. Now let's take a look at the driving principle of how the pneumatic hydraulic converter can put increased pressure. Before that, let's take a brief look at Pascal's principle. Pascal's principle says that, given a fluid in totally enclosed system, a change in pressure at one point in the fluid is transmitted to all points in the fluid, as well as to the enclosing walls. The first here is pressure times cross-section, and the pressure is force divided by cross-section. This principle can also be applied to pneumatic hydraulic converters. The principle of pneumatic hydraulic converter increases pressure based on difference between the cross-section of the piston in the closed cylinder tube and the cross-section of the road. When oil is injected in the pneumatic hydraulic converter, the fluid is filled even to the connected hydraulic cylinder lines. After that, when air is supplied to the booster cylinder, the pistons and the rows move forward and the pressure of the fluid increases. For example, assuming that the air pressure of 5 bar comes in and the cross-section area of the piston is 50 square centimeter, we can know the force in the cylinder is about 2450 newton as the force required to apply pressure times the cross-section area of the piston. Based on same theory, the tip of the road has a cross-sectional area of 1 divided by 10 smaller than that of the rear piston. So the cross-sectional area difference increases the pressure by 10 times. Therefore, the first pneumatic pressure is 5 bar. But as the road moves forward, the pressure of the fluids rise to 50 bar since the actual output theory assumes 100%. It is recommended to select a pneumatic hydraulic converter by calculating it with about 80% efficiency. As a result, the difference in cross-sectional areas determines the rate of increased pressure of the pneumatic hydraulic converter. Looking at the circuit diagram, the pneumatic pressure produced by the air compressor is supplied directly to the booster cylinder with the solenoid valve operated. After that, as the road moves forward, the pressure of the fluid increases and pushes the road of the hydraulic cylinder forward. The hydraulic cylinder moves by the hydraulic pressure in the entire transport section from the beginning to the end. In case of the pre-pressure type 1, the left solenoid valve works to supply the air, and then it pushes the fluid forward in the converter to make the road of the hydraulic cylinder primarily move to the certain position. Since then, when the right solenoid valve is actuated, the road of the pneumatic hydraulic converter moves to the high pressure tube, boosting the fluid and making the road of the hydraulic cylinder move forward as much as the volume of the high pressure with great force. 
The pre-pressure type converter is used when the pressurization section is short and high flow rate is required. At the time, it is the working method of moving the road of the hydraulic cylinder through a certain section with pneumatic pressure and then finally moving it forwards with the hydraulic pressure. The pressure type and the pre-pressure type have differences in the configuration of the valve circuits. But the driving principle of the increased pressure due to the difference in size is same. Lastly, let's take a look at the benefits when replacing the hydraulic actuator driven by the hydraulic unit with the pneumatic hydraulic converter. For example, to build a hydraulic system to drive a hydraulic actuator in an environment already equipped with a pneumatic system, vast amount of cost and space are required. However, when you use a pneumatic hydraulic converter, you can reduce cost with minimal space. It is also frequently used to save energy. When the pressurization time is long or when it is used for a clamp, you have to run the motor continuously or use an accumulator while pressurizing a hydraulic unit to compensate for pressure. However, the pneumatic hydraulic converter consumes little energy even after long hours of use. With this benefit, the pneumatic hydraulic converter has been applied actively in the variety of industries in foreign countries such as USA and Japan. Finally, let me show you how the pressure type booster cylinder really works. Looking at this, you can see a hydraulic cylinder and booster cylinder. Can you see? This is the pressure type booster that is integrated with an oil tank. In case of a pre-pressure type 1, you need to buy an oil tank separately. First, we need to inject oil to fill the fluids up to the connected hydraulic cylinder line. To actually inject the oil, you would have to connect a lot of devices. I will show you an assumption that the oil were injected. Now after oil has been injected, air must be supplied to the booster cylinder. When air is supplied, the piston and the rod move forward to increase the pressure of the fluid fields in the high pressure tube. At this time, the pressure is increased due to the difference between the internal cross-sectional area of the booster cylinder and the internal cross-sectional area of the high pressure tube. Then the hydraulic cylinder rose is advanced as much as the hydraulic discharge amount in the boosted high pressure tube. As a result, you can see that the road of the hydraulic cylinder moves forward due to the difference in the internal cross-sectional area of the booster cylinder and that of the high-pressure tube. So far, we have learned the driving principle and functions of booster cylinder. If you have any additional questions, please leave a comment. If you find this video helpful, please give your comment below and subscribe to my channel and click like. Thank you, bye! Gongdeon Nee's Easy Pneumatic Trainer is with KCC Precision.